क्या आप मॉटल ऑफ स्काउट जैसे स्ट्रीमर्स को देख के खुद का लाइव स्ट्रीम शुरू करना चाहते हो नॉट टू वारी हियर्स योर ऑपरचुनिटी दिस इज हाउ यू कैन बी एबल टू डू दैट I am going to show you how you can live stream to YouTube using OBS Studio, a live streaming software which most of all is free to use. So you don't need to pay for anything. You can instantaneously go to the website, download their software, and get started. So the most important thing that you need to set up your live stream on YouTube or on Twitch first off is a computer. Two, a choice of game, and three, a live streaming software. Now, whether that's a Windows or a Mac or a Linux, it doesn't matter because this software is compatible with any of those operating systems. So, this is the website obsproject.com. Website pe jaiye, apna download link choose kijiye. If you have Windows, set up Windows. If you have Mac, set up on Mac, and if you have Linux, set up on Linux. So once you have chosen your operating system and downloaded the installer for OBS Studio, this is what you're going to see. Make sure that you set up in the default folder program files because in the future you're going to have a lot of customizations. You're going to have a lot of tweaking you're going to want to do, and the default folder is the easiest way for you to route everything through easily. Go ahead, complete the installation. So just say you are OBS खोलते हो, what you see is going to be a little confusing. A black screen नजर आता है, and there's a lot of breakdowns, basically scenes. Sources, audio mixers. ये आपको इतना शुरू शुरू में इतना समझ में नहीं आएगा बट वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज रन यू थ्रू वॉट ईच ऑफ दीज ड सो पहले तो शुरू करते हैं सीन्स के साथ थिंक ऑफ सीन्स लाइक अ वेबसाइट पेज इज ऑन टॉप ऑफ अ वेबसाइट नाउ इन द बिगिनिंग यू ओनली हैव द वन सीन इट्स कॉल्ड सीन इट्स डिफॉल्ट इसमें है कुछ नहीं एज सुन इज वी क्लिक ऑन द प्लस बटन हियर यू गेट दी ऑप्शन टू एड अन अदर सीन अब यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू एड अन अदर सीन हियर वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क विद द डिफॉल्ट सीन लेट्स नेम दैट in game with regards to scenes that's all you need to know for now let's move on to sources sources are basically the crux of all the content aapke man mein jo bhi content hai jo aap duniya ko dikhana chahte ho wo pura idhar sources mein add hoga be it a browser source koi website ka page aapko dikhana hai ya koi image dikhana hai koi video dikhana hai ya aapko apna webcam dikhana hai gameplay dikhana hai kuch bhi dikhana ho this is where you will do that so the first and most basic thing we will set up is how to set up your game mera game is there already background mein running hai you can already see it valorant ka name set up kiya hai maine so what we are going to do we are going to hit the plus button over here we are going to go to game capture it is bahut aasani se dikh raha hai blue mein highlight ho raha hai select game capture you can add a name to this if you would like i am going to do that i am going to write name this valorant and hit okay window opens up saying properties for valorant agar aapko idhar kuch nazar nahi aaya after typing after selecting valorant agar aapko ek black screen nazar aaya to i highly recommend abhi ke abhi close whatever game it is that you're playing close obs studio and restart obs studio and the game in administrator mode once you have done that if you got it right पहले तो आपको अपना वैलोरेंट का स्क्रीन दिखेगा अभी इमीडिएटली यू कैन एड अ लॉट ऑफ अदर स्टफ यू कुड एड सम टेक्स्ट यू कुड एड सम इमेजेस आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू एड ईच ऑफ दीज थिंग्स एंड हाउ यू कैन क्रिएटिवली यूटिलाइज इट सो वी आर गोइंग टू एड अ टेक्स्ट सोन इज आई राइट द टेक्स्ट डाउन इट अपियर्स यूर इट्स अ लिटिल स्केरी नॉट टू वरी दिस इज अ सोर्स नाउ वेन यू सेलेक्ट अ सोर्स विद इन हियर This text it's too big for the screen right now so I will right click on this select properties select font I can change the font size here I can change the font type I can change what font style I want to use I could choose anything I wanted so I'm going to go with a favorite font of mine called x heighting we're going to reduce the font size down to 50 and we're going to hit okay once we have done that we can also select text transformation upper case lower case the color opacity background color there is a ton of options and a ton of customizations so once you've selected whatever it is you hit okay you've got your text here if you want to decide where you want to place this text all you have to do is click drag decide where you want to put this text so now we have learned how to set up a text and how to set up game capture aside from these these two you can also select and play videos on your live stream so if you want to showcase some kind of a highlight reel you want to show somebody else's video jo bhi aapko karna hai aap kar sakte ho so what we are going to do next we're going to select media source we are going to add the name of your video here and hit okay make sure you make the source visible once you have done that it will make you choose a local file so we are going to go to browse we're going to go to downloads 
and say we choose PUBG tutorial rotation. Any any random file or the latest episode of esports this week, for example. Hit OK. Once you have done that, you will pretty much get this screen appearing. And if you want to make sure that this doesn't get moved around too much, make sure you hit the lock button. So then you can't move this around anymore. So what I'm moving there is my Valorant scene. So here also you can hit lock and you suddenly will not be able to click or drag any of these files. So we will unlock these for the time being. I'll delete the media source. This is how you add a video to OBS Studio. Kafi asaan hai guys. Go ahead, try it out, run it on the fly. So ab aapne seek liya hai how to add a game, how to add text, how to add video. There are so many more things that you can add. Say you wanted to showcase a website of your choice on your live stream. So where it says URL, you select the name of the website. I'm going to select my website, globallysports.com. Hit make sure the width is 1920 1080 because that is the canvas size that we are working on. So once you've done that, hit OK. The website will open. You can even decide to interact with this website. Scroll down and add, treat OBS itself like a browser. So for the time being, we're just going to close this. That's how you can set up a website. So till now, we have talked about how you can add basically anything in sources. Let's move on to audio mixer. Now, by default, you will see two audios here right now. One is desktop audio and your mic audio. Desktop audio is everything that your computer's sound is picking up right now. So the game, Spotify, any music you play, Discord that you're talking on, the website that you're watching, any audio that comes in will be routed through desktop audio. And the second audio source right now here is mic audio. Basically, any input devices that you have, like a microphone, even your webcam can act as a microphone. You can choose to increase, reduce the volumes here. It's very easy to control. If you hit properties, you can select which or primary audio device you want to use. I've got an Avo Media mic connected, so for the time being, I am just going to select Avo Media because that's my default microphone, and I'm going to hit OK. Let's move on to settings. So what we saw. Till now was the front end, all the audio that goes out, the sources on your canvas, the scenes on your canvas, all of these are pretty much the front end. Now what we are going to touch upon is the back end settings. So for now we are not going to make any significant changes to general, they are very simple but right now for our purposes, for our needs, we don't need to change anything here. Let's move on to stream. Now first up what you want to do is select what platform you want to stream on. If it's YouTube, you select YouTube Gaming. If it's Twitch, you select Twitch. You can also go live on Facebook Live. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to talk about YouTube first. So you select YouTube and then you've got your service. You don't need to change anything here. You can leave it at primary YouTube India server and stream. Now, if you are streaming on YouTube, you go to youtube.com, you select your page, you go to studio. Once you have gone into studio, you make sure you hit the go live button whether you stream karna chahte ho. Once you have done that, make sure you say hit the schedule a stream. Make sure you can even reuse your settings once you have done that and you hit create a stream. A page will load up where you can select your stream key. This is what connects YouTube to your streaming software. Now stream key guys, किसी के साथ भी नहीं शेयर करनी चाहिए कभी भी क्योंकि ये stream key अगर किसी के पास हो तो वो आपके चैनल पे immediately live जा सकते हैं without needing anything else. You can put it here and you can hit apply. So once we are done with stream, we are going to move on to output based on what computer you have, how good your internet is. All of those factors come into play. This is where you decide what kind of settings you need to be using. Now. Primarily, these are the settings that I use, what you see on your screen here, but it's not necessarily going to be the same for you as well. Why that is the case? Because everybody's got a different PC, everybody's got a different internet. So based on what you have, you have to choose what you want to use. Now, pehle toh, what you want to do is set this to advanced. Pehle toh, aapko simple mein rahega, set that to advanced. Once you do that, you'll get this screen. It will change drastically. So once you do that, you will see 4 options ki, streaming, recording, audio, replay buffer. So first, under streaming, we are going to talk about what we need to do here. Audio track, mein kuch ma change karo, leave it at 1. Encoder, what you want to do here is change this to NVIDIA NVENC H264 NEW. If you have any NVIDIA ke koi bhi naye graphics card hai, like the 970 series or 960 series, any of those cards, what you want to personally be doing is put 
ऑल ऑफ योर लोड ऑन द जीपीयू अभी एनवीडिया एन बैंक एच टू सिक्स फोर न्यू क्या करता है ये पूरे स्ट्रीमिंग का लोड आपके हार्डवेयर पे डालता है आपके ग्राफिक कार्ड पे डालता है और आपके सीपीयू पे नहीं डालता है अगर आपके प्रोसेसर पे कम लोड है तो योर मशीन विल परफॉर्म मोर ऑप्टिमली यू वोट हैव इश्यूज विद एनी फ्रेम ड्रॉप ऐसे कोई इश्यूज नहीं होंगे तो आई पर्सनली लाइक टू चूज एन बैंक एच टू सिक्स फोर न्यू आप X264 भी यूज कर सकते हो विच इज अटली ओल्डर कोड है इट इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर कोड है जो स्ट्रीम का पूरा लोड आपके सीपीयू पे डालेगा आपके, आपके प्रोसेसर पे डालेगा इधर इसके बाद रीस्केल आउटपुट पे कुछ मत कीजिए आर कैनवी साइज इज नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी वी आर गोना चेंज एनी थिंग अगर आपको डाउन स्केल करना है आपका रीस आउटपुट तो वो भी मैं आपको दिखाऊंगा बट दिस इज नॉट वेरी चेंज इट इधर आपके पास थोड़े सारे ऑप्शंस है बट वॉट आई सिलेक्ट वॉट आई पर्सनली रिकमेंड यू सी बी आर नो बिट्रेड इज वेट गेट्स अटल कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एवरीबडी इज हैज टू सेट अफरेंट बिट्रेड बिकॉज दिस डिपेंड्स कम्प्लीटली आपके इंटरनेट पर अगर आपके पास अच्छी इंटरनेट है देन यू सेट अ स्लाइटली हायर बिट्रेड नो वॉट दिस डज इज इट इम्प्रूव द क्वालिटी ऑफ योर स्ट्रीम ड्रास्टिकली आई डोंट लाइक टू गो बियॉन्ड सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड के बी पी एस दैट इज द स्वीट स्पॉट फॉर मी मेरे पर्सनल taste pe hai now this you want to change and test around to see what works best for you i personally recommend about 6 to 6500 for youtube keyframe interval i like to set it at 2 presets i like to set it at max quality profile i like to set it at high look ahead i like to keep this off because this is great for slow games for say horror games cinematic games but if you're playing fps games first person shooter games like counter strike like pubg mobile where there's where the screen keeps moving changing very very fast you don't want to check this you want to leave this off max b frames i like to set this at 2 and that's about it this is all you have to do here for streaming let's move on to recording now recording there are tons of customizations that you can do either you can use your same streaming ke jo settings hai wohi idhar use kar sakte ho ya aap change bhi kar sakte ho highly recommend you use the same streaming settings but set up a higher bit rate here what this does because it's not sending any information to the internet because it's saving on your computer locally you can set this up a little bit more higher to maine 20000 rakha hai keyframe interval idhar bhi do hai max quality hai baki ke settings as you can see is the same as streaming maine idhar kuch change nahi kiya hai audio mein bhi kuch change nahi kiya i have left it as is now moving on audio You don't want to do anything here. Default is just fine. We will move on to video. Now remember, guys, I told you all that y'all can change your base resolution. अपना resolution change कर सकते हो. अगर आप game को 1920 by 1080 पे नहीं stream करते हैं, you want to change your canvas का resolution. This is where you can do that. इधर आप अपना canvas का resolution set up कर सकते हो. Say you wanted to keep this 1080 by 1920. You can easily do that. Hit apply, and you see the canvas completely changes. तो इधर आप कुछ भी सेटअप कर सकते हो वी आर गोइंग टू गो बैक टू 19, 20, 1080 फॉर द टाइम बी अगर आपको आपका रेजोल्यूशन चेंज नहीं करना है बट डाउन स्केल करना है बिकॉज यू हैव अ स्लाइटली वीकर पीसी और यू वांट टू रिड्यूस द लोड ऑन योर पीसी दैट्स आल्सो वेरी इजीली पॉसिबल वी जस्ट गोना सिलेक्ट दिस एंड गो टू ट्वेल्व एटी सो वॉट दिस डज इज इट लेट्स यू स्ट्रीम एट सेवन ट्वेंटी इंस्टेड ऑफ टेन दिस विल ड्रास्टिकली इम्प्रूव योर परफॉर्मेंस एंड यू विल इजिली बी एबल टू स्ट्रीम इफ योर मशीन इज नॉट अ स्ट्रॉन्ग so once we have selected our output resolution we will go on to select our down scale filter idhar aapke paas teen char options hai again this is all very very complicated to get into in detail i personally like to set it up at blank cost because my my computer is really solid i highly recommend that you switch around and test each of these out and see what works best for you bilinear also works very well if you have a low end computer so i i suggest you start with that wo karne ke baad what you want to do is get into fps now you are limited to 60 fps on most live streaming platforms so 60 fps is what i like to set my settings to because my computer can handle it just fine this again depends on how good your pc is how well it performs and agar aap pubg khel rahe ho valorant khel rahe ho to aapko 60 frames bahut hi smooth lagega bahut hi clean experience hoga for the viewers so i highly recommend that agar aapka computer 60 frames per second handle nahi kar pa raha agar aapka obs hai isko nahi handle kar pa raha you want to tune that down to 30 So once we are done with that, we are going to move on to another important aspect of OBS Studio, which is hotkeys. So what hotkeys allows you to do is set up a custom hotkey on your keyboard, on your mouse. You can select any number of keystrokes to decide and predetermine what each hotkey will do. You can use the hotkey to change to a specific scene, or I want to mute or unmute my microphone. 
say I wanted to use a hotkey to start or stop my stream, start or stop my recording, mute or unmute any kind of audio. So this you can do anything, you can make any changes to this. Now we are going to get into advanced. The only change I make here is set from normal to above normal. One other setting that I want to talk about is stream delay. If you are in the game, you feel that someone is sniping your stream, someone is watching your stream and knows your position. If you want to hide that, I highly suggest you turn on stream delay. Either you can enable it or set up the duration setup. So if you are running around in a PUBG competitive match and you think somebody is going to stream snipe you, then this is a very good tool to use to make sure that you don't get stream sniped and you don't get hunted down in a fight. So that brings us to the end of settings. हमने हर एक चीज के बारे में इधर कवर किया है भी general stream output बहुत ही आसान है guys. It looks very complicated, but trust me, it is not. Go out there, try it out. बहुत ही आसान है. If you get stuck anywhere, if you need some assistance, if you need any help at all, do reach out. Let me know what I can do to help you out for this. Very very happy to assist you in the comments below. And make sure you hit subscribe on this channel if you like this content. I'm going to be putting up a lot more OBS guides, a lot more helpful tutorials on what kind of customizations you can make to OBS to make your stream look even more dynamic and even more fun. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.